But I have a question for the guy. How much control does you or the legislature have over the main turnpike authority? This is one of his favorite topics. <laughs> okay. Until recently, zero. Now, and it took a scandal for the legislature to do something about it. Now, let me tell you about the state of Maine and a governor and a legislature. In the last 25 years, the legislature has abdicated much of its authority. It has done so through the guise of creating boards and commissions. The Maine State Housing Authority, well, let's say the Maine Turnpike Authority, Maine, Maine Turnpike Authority reports to a board of trustees. The board has about nine of them, one every year. So for a governor to have any influence whatsoever, he has to serve two terms. Number one, the Maine State Housing Authority has a board of, uh, a board of commissioners, a board of commissioners. The executive director of the Maine State Housing Authority does not report to the board of commissioners, does not report to the governor, nor does that person report to the legislature unless a statute is brought up and we change the law. Efficiency Maine Trust is another organization that does not report to the governor, does not report to the legislature. So the only way a governor can have any influence is every year you appoint one new commissioner and eventually, if you have two terms and it's a nine-person board, at your fifth year you get control. So until the legislature recognizes that the oversight that we have on our quasi-governmental agencies is flawed, we are going to continue to have a system that isn't working. And you have a statement you want to share after this. Um, if at all possible, you can come to a situation where you do have control, whether there be this term or next. In fact, I might even hope for you if you thought you might be able to do it. <laughs> uh, I think that you should increase the toll by 25% right away, as soon as possible, on the internet bank in all areas, so all toll houses, and it be dedicated to highways and bridges We need that better. Well, well, let me tell you that that is, is good for some people in the state. It's a disaster for people that live in Lewiston and have to travel to Portland every day. Uh, but but I, I appreciate that that comment, and I think that tolls is a form of taxation, and it's if you're going to levy the tax, you got to levy levy the tax equally through the whole state. But I will take that under advisement. But I will tell you this: this past year, this gentleman to my right who was the Commissioner of Transportation, did the same work this year on our roads and bridges that was done last year. And he did it for $100 million cheaper than we did it last year. So it's a matter of being more efficient, drive down costs, and try to do more with less because when you're in an economy and you have no money, you have to be innovative, creative, and do more with less. Can I have Adrian if I may? Sure. Governor if I may. <clears throat> this gentleman that raised a very good question about the turnpike authority. I have some very good news for all of us. Under the governor's leadership, when these board members on these various authorities uh, come up for renewal, we, uh, the governor is not reappointing anybody. Everybody's new. And there were several vacancies very recently on the main state housing authority. There are new people now that control five out of nine votes on the main state housing authority. A few months ago, we discovered 
that they were helping to develop affordable housing for $314,000 for a one or two bedroom apartment in Portland. Now, all of us in the state government understand that the state is broke. We have no new money. So it is very important that we understand that we are responsible to properly invest in the stewards of your tax dollars. So what is happening at Maine State Housing now is that we have a new group of individuals that are all business people from the private sector. We're used to being accountable and spending wisely. And what we are doing now is asking some very straightforward questions. When the average price of a home in the state of Maine is $159,000, why should the taxpayers here in Maine subsidize housing that they themselves cannot afford to live in? And for those that criticize us and say, you know, you're not trying to take care of those that are homeless or those that are greatly in need, we completely disagree. Because if we're able to build these apartments for, say, $75,000 instead of $300,000, we can build four of them instead of one. And I would just like to address why there's five seats this year versus one. Is on January 5th, the day of my inauguration, the outgoing governor came to the inauguration and didn't have time to get back to the office to sign around 60 appointments, the reappointments that were being made. It just so happens a lot of them were on the Bay State Housing Authority. And so when we came in, they had gone on signs so that we reappointed new people. Thank <laughs> you.